evening, everyone. Welcome to Denver Christian School. Um, some of you have been here all night, so we thank you for hanging out with us this evening. Um, we'd also like to recognize that today was a difficult day for our community. Um, we did lose uh, an amazing mom of one of our students this past week, and suddenly. Um, and this student was a big part of the performing arts. So if you could just keep this family in your prayers uh, and come around them when they, when they come back, um, that would be wonderful. Um, this community is very special. We truly love each other and take care of each other. And um, I know we can count on you. So thank you for coming tonight. We hope that you are blessed by this 8th through 12th grade concert. These are our creme de la creme performers. So we're very excited for you to hear them this evening. Just a couple of reminders. Um, please remember no food or drink in the Performing Arts Center. If you do need to use the restroom, please do so in between songs. Please silence all cell phones. Please keep small children with you. And I'm gonna open us up with a world word of prayer. Heavenly Father, it has been a beautiful night of music and now we get to end with our older students who've been playing a long time God, I just pray a blessing over them. I pray that you give them energy. Some of them have been here all day with rehearsals and practices. Give them peace. Um, give them a sense of your spirit so that when they are playing, Lord, they are truly glorifying you and they're making beautiful, beautiful music tonight. God, I thank you for Mrs. Del Nero and Mr. Jones who have worked so hard to prepare our students. And we just pray for all of our audience members that they feel blessed this evening. They feel closer to you by being here at this concert. And um, we just pray for a wonderful evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Commissioned in honor of a band's 75th anniversary, Epic Ventures a vibrant and colorful fanfare for young bands. Beginning with a declarative fanfare, this work takes the listener on a musical journey across the Atlantic Ocean along with the early European settlers on their way to North America.
the expanse of space and time and all of the celestial bodies have long provided inspiration for all artists bound to earth and their imaginations soar amongst them, flying higher, no, skimming on Saturn's rings and traveling farther than the Milky Way. Nebula attempts to capture and convey the The feeling, the feeling of awe that one feels when um, spying on these large bodies of gases and energies that can span uh, light years in diameter. Have you ever watched squirrels run around your backyard? They're constantly on the move, no matter what time of year, chasing each other and tumbling about. The high branches of, of the canopy above become the squirrel's highway system, complete with soaring ramps, tangled overpasses, and merging lanes. Occasionally, they'll pause, but ever so briefly, and then they're back on the run. Squirrel Chase is a fast-paced gallop inspired by these squirrels.
He's in his class. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is that what you're teaching me in your life? How to give Mr. Kobe that about me? One of my tough women. You ever tell Mr. Kobe that about me? I've been your teacher for seven years. <laughs> Band, the symphonic band's first piece, Choose Joy, was written as a tribute to Nicole Crandall, a recent graduate from the high school that commissioned this piece. Nicole had been suffering stage four glioblastoma, a very aggressive form of brain cancer. When she had turned 20, she was moved into hospital care. In spite of this devastating illness, Nicole and her family had created a motto to help navigate them through this difficult time, Choose Joy. This piece uses elements from Beethoven's Ode to Joy, along with a five-note melody representing Nicole and her immediate family members. The beginning of this piece represents a trio, which can be heard as saxophone, flute, and clarinet, which are the same instruments that Nicole and her immediate siblings played in band. This piece uses many parts like <laughs> humor, happiness, joy, pain, sorrow, and determination. I hope that this serves as a fitting tribute to all those who choose jo darkness, choose joy in a time of darkness. Please enjoy.
Kings in Spring is the first movie in Samuel Hazo's Georgian Suite. It was written for an honors band in Georgia and premiered by the ensemble in Kings in Georgia. This song is about an ancient myth and legend about the lost city of Arabia. This, the mysterious city was buried under the sands after it was destroyed by natural disasters said to be unleashed by the angry gods. Explorers seeking out the city today believe it is located in the southern desert of modern day Saudi Arabia. Sit back and imagine you are being taken back in time to this city filled with splendor throughout.
the early years of the Civil War, Georgia was largely protected from military hostilities, leaving it free to ship arms and munitions and food and supplies to Confederate troops on the battlefield to the Northeast. The importance of this railroad caused James Andrews, a Union spy from Kentucky, to attempt a daring escapade to disrupt this 138-mile rail system from Atlanta to Chattanooga. Along with 19 uh, Union soldiers, dressed as civilians, he came to Marietta on April 12, 1862. And there he boarded the General, a wood-burning locomotive that ran all the way north. At Big Shanty, the crew and passengers ate breakfast. Andrews used the engine or used the brake to uncouple the engine, wood tender, and three box cars from the passenger cars. They then sped off with the goal of damaging as many W and A tracks and rail bridges as possible. Hearing the general steam out, William Fuller and two W and A employees ran out of the hotel dining room and pursued the stolen train by foot for several miles. Ultimately, Fuller would commandeer the locomotive Texas and, joined by Confederate soldiers, eventually capture Andrews Raiders a race which Joel Chandler Harris later described as the boldest adventure of the war. This composition for concert band is based upon this fascinating event in American history. Thank you. 
Well, I just want to say um, just how proud I am of this group and the eighth grade group, um, just for the hard work that they put into music every day. Um, music is not easy, and it's not something that you can just pick up and do, so it really does take a lot of work and a lot of effort. So I'm just so proud of this group and, and all they've done as well as eighth grade. Um, I'd just like to thank Mrs. Last for all of her help this evening. Mr. Jones, um, he's our new percussion instructor. He's started, uh, well, he's continued the high school drum line as well as helping out with the percussion classes and the middle school percussion classes. Um, all of our stage crew tonight, thank you guys for helping out. Mr. King and Mr. Witters up there and our whole tech crew as well as the parent volunteers who have been our ushers and um, helped out this evening as well. And thank you, of course, to our administration for all of their support of music and the arts. I hope you enjoyed the concert this evening. Thank you so much and have a great night.